This is just a quick video for the benefit of the customer whose kilt this is. I've finished just this minute. And uh, as soon as I f uh, finish talking about it, I'm going to pack it and send it off to him down in the um, eastern United States. So in our conversation, he chose the Scott Tartan, but in our conversation, he expressed a desire for a military looking kilt. He went, we were emphasizing on the military. So I decided to pull out all the stops and go back to the standard that was laid down in 1881 after the Cardwell reforms for British military kilts. So to that end, we have many narrow pleats, very narrow, and our recently made replicas of the original style buckles that were introduced, I believe, around 1881, possibly before then. Um, now, where I've departed from the military standard is back in those days, there was two buckles on the right hip, nothing on the left, but I've upgraded. So we've now got a buttonhole with a very heavy reinforced um, bar tack on either side. It just They just fit better that way. A tartan top band rather than the green cloth tape because frankly, it looks a bit better. But because we have the many narrow pleats, um, the aprons are a bit longer compared to the uh, to the section of the pleats, but that is absolutely in the spirit of the time. That was we see that in, in military kilts made until I'm going to say the 60s or so that behaved that, com, that um, uh, conformed to that standard. So um, and the, the straps, hand cut leather straps. I didn't have time to ask him if he, if he wanted to choose between brown or black. The original color was this very dark brown, which the soldiers would then polish black. But um, yeah, so we've got black straps. Um, the standard uh, rule uh, suggestions for care and maintenance and storage and everything else apply, which you've seen in my other videos. So on the inside, um, again, a, a, we're actually in this case superior to the 1881 standard because we're using my canvassing system rather than the canvas that they use because they only expected their kilts sewn to this beautifully high standard they only expected them to last a year but we've got the broad canvas inside and a, a flannel cotton flannel lining because it wicks a little bit better and it holds onto the shirt as i've said elsewhere the heavy woolen serge lining I believe was chosen because it was more um, it was more about longevity than comfort. I, I find that, that that original style lining to be awfully awfully warm across the back. So there we go, a um, a modern kilt tailored to the military style, the old military style. And there we go. I wish him many happy years of use and enjoyment of his new kilt.